So I've been thinking about starting a 30 day journaling challenge. I thought I would do a little unboxing. So this is the journal that I bought to do my 30 day journaling challenge in. Um, it's dotted a beaten leather and a crunchy. think that this is so cute um i love this usually i would buy like the leuchten don't know how you say that Le 1917 or whatever um the classic like bullet journal book um and this one seems to have bigger dots or darker dots and i just searched bullet journal and this one came up it's vegan leather and i thought it was really cute it's a company i've never heard of and so i thought i would like support them. I'm assuming it's a small company. They only sell this one book in three different colours. I'm gonna download some kind of journaling prompts from Pinterest and I'm gonna write them all down on the first page so I have them all already here and then every day I'm gonna write them at the top and then kind of fill it out. I think that's the best way to go about it. I have no idea. I really have never journaled before in my life. I thought this would be a fun kind of challenge. I have never kept a diary. I don't know why i've just never thought like writing things down has never been my sort of thing so i thought i'd try it out so i just thought i'd do a little update on the journaling challenge i'm doing at the moment today is the 14th of september so i'm on day 14 of the challenge and i haven't actually I've been very good at doing it. I think I've done seven out of 14 days. It hasn't been seven days in a row. I'm actually finding it quite difficult to find the time to do it. So yeah, I think I just need to start doing it like first thing in the morning. Like the first thing I do in the morning is write in my journal because I'm really, if I leave it any later, I kind of forget or I just end up not getting around to it. So I'm hoping that the next 16 days I can actually finish this and fill them out. <laughs> I gotta go, Elizabeth. Okay, so it's officially after my challenge. It's now like the 20 something of October and I'm really late in filming this part of the video, but I basically did not complete my challenge. I have decided that journaling in this sort of way is not really for me. The prompts, which I thought would help me learn how to journal every single day. It just kind of put me off. It felt really forced. I didn't really want to fill out the questions that it was asking me. So I actually ended up downloading an app on my phone. I think it's called Moment, um, but I'll leave a link to it down below because it was a free app and I actually find it more useful to write down thoughts when I'm on the go because I can't really fill out my journal or like fill out the book when I'm on the bus or on a walk or do you know when thoughts actually come to me i don't have the book with me yeah i think in terms of journaling and writing stuff down um every single day it's just not really my vibe it's not really my thing i'm happy that i gave it a go like i'm glad that i tried this but it's really not for me if there's any time that i feel like i need to write stuff down or like think things through like written wise i'm gonna use an app on my phone instead because it's more accessible to me and on the go and it's not as forced and I just feel like the 30 day challenge for me personally, it just didn't really, it just didn't work and that's fine. You know, it's not something that's for everyone and it's just not for me. <laughs> I'm still gonna use the journal. 
I'm just gonna use it in a different way. I think I'm gonna use it for planning, maybe even planning out future YouTube videos, things like that. Like I do sometimes like to write things down so I can visualize it better than everything being on my phone. But as terms of like my thoughts and how I'm feeling and stuff like that, I think I'm gonna stick to my phone and also just not gonna use prompts anymore because that just didn't, it just didn't work. Like, I don't know, like I'll read an example of a prompt. So like what I did is I wrote them all down. Um, so I had like one to 30 and then every day I would write at the top of the page, like the title of the page would be like the prompt, like, and then I would fill it out. I wouldn't fill it out most of the time, which was the issue. <laughs> what advice would I give to my younger self? And do I follow this now? And I, it's just kind of questions that I don't feel like I need to answer at this point in time. I don't feel like I'm gaining anything from it. I just, maybe I'm just a bit too cynical for this particular challenge and prompts I picked for myself. Like, but they're a real mixed bag. Like some of them just say, list all your small victories and successes. Uh, what am I grateful for? What's going on in my life right now? And what lesson did I learn this week? Like they are a mixed bag of things. But again, I just, <laughs> prompts aren't for me. Physical written down journaling is just not for me. 30 day challenge failed. <laughs> Still wanted to upload this, even though I'm uploading it almost a month after I've finished my challenge. Just wanted to show that not everything always goes to plan. You don't always complete the things that you want to, but you still learn things. Like I learned that I'm not a journaler, even though I knew that already, at least I tried and now I know for certain that it's just not my thing. If you have any suggestions of challenges I should try, or maybe even different types of journaling that you do in your everyday life or life generally, it doesn't have to be every day, let me know below. Uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it or you just like watching people fail things. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you for another video very soon.